sacrifice everything that they have in order to make that argument. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, Senator Paul. Thank you. Also here tonight, uh, Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Thank you for joining me, Senator. Hey, thank you. I, I'm very concerned about these developments regarding the DOJ potentially cracking down on what obviously ought to be something that uh, parents are able to voice in terms of their critiques of what is being taught to their uh, uh, to their children uh, within these public schools and to the policies of, of the schools. Uh, what is your reaction to this news regarding the DOJ? Well, first of all, it's alarming. And second of all, it's hypocritical. It's alarming because this idea that somehow, you know, if parents show up at a school board to complain, uh, if somebody there decides, well, we don't like his tone of voice, we don't like how loud he's speaking, we don't like how often he shows up, then you can be reported. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, which should be focused on things like organized crime, things like drug traffickers, things like terrorism and others who seek to harm this country, is now going to divert resources to investigate parents because they scream too loudly or maybe are even rude at a school board hearing. And hypocritical, because let me tell you, there is very few of any senators, certainly people on the right, members of Congress as well, who have not been harassed in their private life. Now, obviously, you just interviewed Senator Paul, and he's gone through some pretty extreme situations. Mm -hmm. But I personally had people People show up at my home when I'm there. When I'm not there, they don't respect that it's your home. Uh, I have people there uh, confront my family at my home. We don't make videos out of it, but they sometimes do. I don't see a lot of concern. I, I was here a couple years ago. When the Supreme Court hearings were going on, there were senators being chased into elevators and down the hall. And the way it was covered by a lot of people in the press is you get what you deserve. You deserve mm -hmm. to be run out. And, and in fact, you had Maxine Waters and others on television basically saying, if you see these people out in public, scream at them. Be, not just be nasty and rude to them. Try to intimidate them. So they have normalized this behavior when it comes to left-wing protesters. But then when a parent speaks out about a school board, they want to stick the FBI on them. This is crazy. Like if you had told me five years ago this was going to happen, I'd say there's just no way. There's no way something like this would happen. It's happening. Senator, before I, I have another question for you on a different topic, but I am very concerned that one of the results of this is going to be there's going to have to be security details for every U.S. senator at the end of the day. We've, we've always prided ourselves on the ability of, of citizens to be able to approach a senator and to have access to them, to talk to them over the years. Are, are those days going to be in the past for us? I don't think having a security detail for a member of Congress is possible. I don't think you could do that. You couldn't afford it. You couldn't hire enough people to do it. I don't know. That wouldn't be practical. I think the, uh, what, what is going to happen here is something terrible is going to happen eventually because we have basically normalized this behavior. And understand yeah. it's hypocritical because the left says if you're doing it to someone on the right, they deserve it. If you're doing it to someone on the left or someone who comes from their agenda, you should be investigated. I, I never thought I would live to see the day that this kind of thing would be happening in this country. But it I, is. Know, I know that you're very concerned about what's going on at the border that we've been covering here at Fox over the past uh, weeks and months. Uh, what is your take in terms of uh, any kind of approach that can be done to actually make the Biden administration respond to this, particularly uh, supposed border czar Kamala Harris? Well, Kamala Harris shouldn't be the border czar. She's not doing anything. And if she's the one that's actually running this, then they need to find somebody else. And that's what I've asked them to do. Second, it begins with accepting the reality. OK, just alone, just Haitian migrants alone, there's between 90 and 120,000 Haitian migrants, some of whom have been living in Chile or Ecuador for the better part of 10 years, who now uh, those countries ran out of jobs. And so now they're looking to make the journey north. They are at various stages of transit. And we are being told that by country after country in the region. That's just from Haiti alone. Not, not to mention the other places. And if you talk to people at the border or people that have crossed, they will all tell you the same thing. They expect to get into the United States. They expect to enter. They expect to be released, a pending an asylum hearing that many have no intention to show up for. And when they make the journey, they call back home. They let other people know about it. And it encourages more people to do the same. This is a rolling catastrophe. We're going to continue to see incidents like what we saw just two weeks ago. And my heart breaks for people from Haiti and all over the world. But no nation on earth can have the open border we basically have now and just tell anyone who wants to come please show up you can't do it but that's what this administration thinks they're going to do and if kamala harris is the one in charge of this they need to find somebody else and fast mm -hmm. senator rubio thanks so much for joining me tonight thank you